Hey, what's up? Big Grime right here. And I'm showing you the instrument I've been working on. I cleaned it up. I really didn't add any more features, but I made the interface a lot more cleaner. The whole goal with this instrument was to have a lot of power, but kind of have everything at your fingertips. Have everything right there in front of you and not have to have a whole lot of different buttons and knobs all over the place because it kind of get confused and I've seen instruments um, I felt like they were very powerful that people made a reactor but it just was so ugly so many buttons so many knobs you kind of get lost I mean the person who made it he know what does what because he made it but um, it was very confusing for me even for me you know I know synthesis very well and I know um, a lot about it but it still was overwhelming you know so here um, from my other video as I was telling you before I had three oscillators and one playback engine and I have tabs to tab you know to go through the different um, oscillators right now and even the um, uh, ASDRs so as you can see right here I click here I'm at oscillator one if I click here it switch as you, as you see when I click so you can look at oscillator one you don't have to be looking at oscillator two especially if I have it mute I have this mute so it's kind of like that's irrelevant to me right now so all I need to look at is oscillator one I have oscillator three and then if I click here the playback engine um, it's not gonna look like this when I'm done I want it to be look real clean re look really good and very usable and be able to use a whole lot of different sounds and everything be at your fingertips um, even right here I got my um, SDR for my oscillator and then my SDR for my filter also I've, I've included a recorder because let's face it, sometimes I play around with stuff and I want to record what I'm doing. Just maybe I'm doodling or just like, um, this is a section that I may want to sample because what I'm going to do is add a sampler to it as well. So when you record, you can actually sample what you're doing and be able to play around with it in the sampler. So I want this to be fun and um, I'm thinking a lot of new ideas I'm going to do with it because, you know, the thing about it with hardware you have tabs because you're working with a small small screen so they add tabs that way you can go through a lot of different features well we've been fortunate to have the computer screen which is large but still to add all of the features like I've I've asked people what, what type of synthesizer would you want to work with what type of not just a synthesizer but what type of um, instrument would you want to use to make music in and they came up with all these ideas and they just, I'm like there's no way you could possibly put all that in one clean interface it would have to be multiple pieces so the whole goal is here right here right now is to use the idea of tabs like the hardware um, uses and come up with an environment where I can have all these features do all these amazing things but also have a clean interface to work with and it be easy to work with so um, that's all I have so far also I want to have it where it's a multi effects processor so if you want um, to run any outside stuff through the filters it's gonna have its own separate filters it's not gonna even be involved with the filters that's for the synthesizer it's gonna have its own filter and I'm just gonna, you know, try to create the the best instrument possible. I really want to have it where, you know, you may put aside the stuff that you're using now to use this. So I think it's very possible. Reactor is by far the best software out there. Um, it's complicated. Some people don't get it, you know. So they go back to the easy stuff. But to to be able to do this is just amazing and. and for the ones that do use this um, software, you know, we're very blessed to have it. So thank you, Native Instruments. Um, I kind of can't wait for Reactive 6 to come out. Just don't fuck it up. 
All right. Make sure you check me out. MySpace.com slash Big Grime, B I G G R I M E, and the number one. You don't have to type it out, just type number one. All right. Peace.